sunset, leaving Guadalupe. <laughs> you tell me what you got. I've traveled each and every highway. James and I like to do on the cruise is play ping pong. Oh. So there's premium desserts, right Jen? Is this a premium dessert? Two premium desserts. Per day, right? Per day. Island Princess, first day, just boarded, hanging out in our cabin. You want to know what an inside cabin looks like? Here we are. We're in, what are we in, Jen? Room B5, B541. Mm -hmm. I think we are on the 11th floor. deck 11, which is called what? Do you remember the name of it? Uh -huh. The Baja deck, okay. So it's kind of a good sleeping den, isn't it? Especially if you're a person like me who likes to sleep in the darkness, who doesn't like any light whatsoever in your room. Perfect. Inside cabin, especially if you're a cheapskate like me, you want the lowest fare. Inside cabin, maybe. Want to see what it's like? Um, it won't take a super long time to show you a tour of this place, will it, Jen? <laughs> no, but you know, here, this is the first time our boys have been in a different room on a cruise. So it's actually more room than we're used to, but the bunks seem to be come down from the ceiling if you see, mm -hmm. if you have four people. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think there's plenty of room for our luggage, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually a nice little closet over there. Yeah, so let's take a look around. We'll show you around this place. So B541, this is what it looks like as you enter. This is your space to put all your clothing and your baggage and stuff. It's a pretty decent space. And uh, this is the bathroom. Bathrooms on cruise ships are always small. This is no exception, but it's fine. Here it is. This is the shower. There is your toilet. And yeah, take a look at the sink and the Pretty standard stuff. Each person has their own lamp, which is good, and place to put your stuff. Two little drawers there. Jen, is there storage space underneath the bed or no? I think you just put your suitcase there after you unpack. There are some, um, there's a cabinet there. There are three drawers here. We got some champagne here, which is like pretty nice. That's like a little mini fridge. Yeah. We do have a mini fridge? Uh, there's more storage space here. And here's your television set. What else? Do you want to talk about the electrical sockets and stuff like that? <laughs> remember, uh, do you remember how, remember yeah, how remember we, we watched, watched that one video? video? Oh my God, we watched one video where the guy well, wanted to talk I about the electrical sockets for like 20 sockets. minutes, for God's sake. There sakes. are a few sockets. Uh -huh. How many have we got, do you know? Two, we brought one of those little boxes. Okay, so, so we've got two plugs over here. And we do not know yet if we have any others. I will let you know later in the, later on in the video if there's more plugs, but there's probably just these two bad boys over here. There aren't any next to the bed, are there? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, but we brought this yeah. thing so we can make more. So there you go. Bring one of these suckers. Thank you. Do you want to demonstrate you how that works? How that product works? <laughs> well, sure. Dun, 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 dun. You plug it in to one of them. See, Right now, you are already an influencer just having that thing, I yeah. think. Do you and agree? you have three, now you have four. You're already and a social media influencer just actually owning this thing. A C-plug and three USBs. Boom. So, there we go. You probably paid nine ninety nine for that on Amazon, right? My kids will probably want to take this away from me. They've got their own cabin on this trip, which is very exciting for them. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Island Princess we just boarded. I'm gonna show you around the sanctuary area now, which is it's 20 bucks for a half a day to sit back in this area, or 40 bucks for a full day. So we're gonna give you a little look at what this looks like. So this is the quieter area of the ship with some plush seating, as you can see. And uh, you can either reserve shade or sun. And uh, obviously the shade sells out quicker telling us that there's no shade available for any days, but we're on a cancellation, a uh, standby list for shade. So we'll see how that works out for us. And uh, I guess for an extra charge, it's an extra charge, Jen, to go in the back here in these couches or no? The cabanas? So for a little more money, let's see what that buys you here in the sanctuary. Buys you probably a television set, mini bar, some princess robes, some beverages. 140. Half day and 220 full day. So there you have it. 140 for half day, 220 for a full day. Thank you. And it includes the mini bar and the food. Thank you. Thursday morning. It is a beautiful morning. It's also very windy as you can hear the wind whistling here. It's going to be a day at sea as is tomorrow going to be a day at sea before we get to St. Kitts. And uh, what am I looking forward to doing today? Oh my god, we're going to do a lot of things. We already got involved with some trivia last night. There's a Venezuelan trivia, trivia host here named Rafael who is absolutely hilarious. I love him. We're definitely going to be doing trivia today. We're going to be doing a talk about the uh, the Leeward Islands, which is where we're going to be visiting. We are going to probably play some pickleball, some ping pong, who knows, but for right now I'm going to go have some breakfast because I woke up hungry as I always do. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful day here as you can see. There's so many people awake yet. It's about 8 a.m. I love this time of the morning on cruise ships. So let's go have a little fun today, shall we? <laughs> you tell me what you got. Plain croissant, chocolate croissant, cinnamon roll, vanilla custard. We have a danish with pineapple and cherry, and muffin, blueberry muffin, and bran muffin. It's time for a little second breakfast action. It's around 10:30 a.m. You know how I got a lot of second breakfast. So let's see what we got in the buffet. Morning. Hello. Where are you from? <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. Yes. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. This stuff looks good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. These are my favorite things for breakfast. <laughs> Cakes.
second full day on the Island Princess, third total day if you count the first one we boarded around lunchtime. And it's another day at sea. And as you can see, things have calmed down a little bit since last since yesterday with the wind. It's still breezy, but it's actually a beautiful morning. It's not, uh, not insanely windy like it was yesterday. We had a great day too. Yesterday, our first relaxing sea day. First of all, I am sleeping so well on this ship, guys. I have not slept this well. I think since the last time I went on a cruise. I don't know what it is about cruises. The rocking of the boat just helps me sleep so well. I, I mean, I slept in this morning until... Uh, I think 8 a.m., but we lost an hour last night. They set the clock forward. No, I slept until 8.20, but they set the clock forward, so I woke up and I was like, oh my God, it's 9.20 ship time. I could not believe it as I said. I never sleep in that late. 9.20, good, good grief. That is almost like a world record for me. I've done that in probably 20 years. Um, the quality of the bedding on this ship is excellent. I mean, the sheets, the pillows, you're tempted, and we have an inside cabin. Man, I'm telling you, inside cabins get a bad rap. I mean, I can sleep like a damn baby in an inside cabin. It is super, super dark, which is really nice for sleeping. But um, I'm taking a little break from the gluttony this morning, too, because I ate so damn much yesterday. So I haven't had breakfast yet this morning. I don't know if I'm going to. I might even actually skip a meal, God forbid, on the ship. But last night, we had so much fun. We went to karaoke with uh, this guy, Rafael, from... Venezuela, who is one of my favorite crew members on this ship. Look for him if you take the Island Princess. Karaoke last night was amazing. There was an 80-year-old man who, my God, I'm telling you, he must have, um, he, he was just amazing. He sang uh, Sinatra's My Way, and he absolutely crushed it, man. I mean, he came out there, you know, old guy, knobby knees, wearing a pair of shorts at night with, like, you know, compression socks and stuff. We were like, who the hell is this guy? He came out there, man, and he sounded like Frank Sinatra. It was so much fun. So, this morning, getting ready for like a ping pong tournament and some other interesting stuff. Looking forward to another relaxing day at sea on the Island Princess. And it's a beautiful day, as you can see. So, going to be a great one. And now, the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. My friend. I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it it's the indoor area, the indoor pool with jacuzzis. And uh, there's also ping pong here too, as you can see. There's two ping pong tables. This is the very relatively quiet area to chill. And um, when it's breezy out, this is a nice area to go swimming in. time of day on a cruise ship five or six o'clock a little before sunset place starts to clear out nice to get everybody goes back to their cabin to take a shower get ready for dinner and the ship gets nice and quiet and the skies get nice and soft and pink you get a beautiful sunset which it looks like we're heading for here we're going to the Dominican Republic second day at sea looking forward to going to St. Kitts tomorrow well, you hear a lot about media hypes up cities and places that don't want more cruise ships. Our guide today was telling us that St. Kitts wants more cruise ships. They need them for the economy. Brings in a lot of needed revenue, he said. Right now, they have maybe two, three a day. They would like to have six or seven, he said. And uh, I said, what about people not working in tourism? He said, almost everyone is working in tourism. Wheelhouse Bar. This is one of my favorite places on the ship, actually. Nice. 
nice big bar with all kinds of uh, traditional sort of artwork. The train keeps rolling. It's the library. Ship library. It's quite a nice little library. They do have a lot of travel books, I noticed. It's kind of Alaska and Canada. Yeah. Whose ship must do the Alaska route? There aren't any Dave Seminara books here, though. That's the only problem with it. <laughs> Good morning from Guadalupe. It's Christmas Day, and uh, we are pulling into Guadalupe. Never been to this island before. What a cool way to spend Christmas. I love pulling into unknown ports, places that I've never been to before. This is an overseas department of France, so not an independent country, unfortunately. Damn, I love heading new countries. But, um, and of course I had been to France before, but I've never been to Guadalupe, so I'm excited to check this place out. It's another beautiful day. A few clouds, uh, almost no wind whatsoever. Looking forward to this. Let's look around Guadalupe today. Uh, Guadalupe? Yeah. In uh, Point a Pit. 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 I don't know why it's so hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> Epic lighting here at sunset, leaving Guadeloupe. towards my room and it's already open because the sense is becoming. Gotta love it. Happy hour on the ship. We're gonna be pulling out of St. Lucia soon. Needed a restful sea day after the last string of great days that we had at port. So um, we had a string of, what is it, five days in a row. We were going to different ports and we were super active every day. Um, so we, we had, let's see, we had St. Kitts, and we had Guadalupe, then we had Barbados, this is a memory game here. Um, and then we had Trinidad, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting one of them. But, you know, every day, either renting cars or having guys. I'm sorry, Grenada. I forgot one. There was Grenada. So needed this day at sea just to relax a little bit. And um, it's a nice breezy day out here. I'm in the quiet part of the ship. This is a shady, quiet area. The ship comes over here. The other area of the ship by the pool is where the activity is. If you want to watch movies and stuff like the people are watching, I think Barbie over there right now. People love it. Some people are really into that. Not me. Um, I'm just relaxing this morning. I played some pickleball. If you like pickleball, this is so much fun. I, I spent like two hours playing pickleball with people I just met this morning. Very social. I'm a tennis player. I've never played pickleball before, but I have to admit I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's also ping pong going on here too. There's one of the games. There was a, there was a, um, a cornhole um, staff or staff versus uh, passengers tournament this morning, but I missed it. I was playing pickleball, getting ready to go out to lunch, having a really relaxing day. Needed this sea day tomorrow. Curacao, uh, watch a little football tonight on board too. If you like NFL and college football, I'm amazed how many games they have on here. It's really great if you're a sports fan. You can watch the games on the big screen sometimes by the pool, and they also have like a dedicated special events sporting channel on the TV. Fantastic, you don't have to miss you know very many uh, NFL games, that's for sure, and college football too. So, if you're a sports addict like me, it's a good show for that. I think we're on day 10 of the cruise. That's one of the great things about cruising is I always lose track of time. I think we're on day 10, it's a day at sea. We've got, I think, four full days left. So I wanna talk about, over about the dining and the drinks. So we've got the Princess Plus package, and this is well worth the money, I think, especially if you like to, to drink, of course. Um, I've tried most of the cocktails here. 
um, pina colada is a girly kind of drink, but I had one. I even had one of those. I think first time ever. My favorite is the ultimate Mai Tai. Oh, damn, these are good Mai Tais. They're so good. They're all included. Um, I also really like the Riesling. Some of the white wines here are really good. Um, generally, the bars are quite good in terms of you know, bringing out your food. There's an app. You can order drinks and stuff like that on the app. Talk about the different food options. Generally, just a general statement about the food on this ship has been excellent very satisfied i don't know how many pounds i've gained but it's a few at least and i'm walking around i'm trying to get a lot of exercise but the food is plentiful and really really good um there's a couple of options of being a smaller ship you have basically a couple of options it's a specialty dining which we tried sabatini's one night sabatini's is the italian it's very very good the lasagna in that place absolutely killer um what else? There's also this Bayou Grill, which we just went to for lunch, which is kind of like a gastro pub. It's also quite good. There's a steakhouse we have not tried yet. In terms of just the regular, you know, free dining, there's two dining rooms. There's the Bordeaux and the Provence. Menu is the same at both. And um, I would say really consistently excellent. The lunches and the dinners, so good. And um, a lot of times I order multiple things. The service is very strong. All of the people working here, generally the crew is just amazing. I'm keeping track of the different countries that I've met so far from crews. And I think I'm in 25 different countries. Amazing. I love the people working on this ship. They are so good. So in terms of the food, the lunch menu when you're in ports is mostly the same. The Thai spring rolls are freaking amazing. I can eat those things like crazy. The They've had also a bunch of times for dinner. They've had satay, the chicken satays, the beef satays, delicious. The steaks, the fish, <laughs> it's it's super good. I would say my only complaint about the food or disappointment is the breakfast, which is, I have this on most cruise ships. I love breakfast, I'm a real breakfast guy, but I'm not a buffet person, which you know, I love cruises, but you know, I'm not into buffets, not just cruise buffets, but just buffets at hotels. I do not like buffets generally because of the temperature issue. I like my cold food very cold and drinks cold and I like my hot food to be hot and a buffet it's never like that. So if you don't want to have the breakfast buffet here, you got to go to the restaurant and it has a very, very limited menu. I mean, every day you could get pancakes, you could get um, omelets, you can get, what else is it? You know, oatmeal, sort of the basics. But there's usually only two like specials of the day for breakfast in the restaurant. And oftentimes one of the two is just like a fruit plate or something like that. And um, I haven't been into the breakfast here. So that's about it. But, but it's probably good that I haven't been into the breakfast. Because I'm eating so damn much for lunch and dinner and snacks in between. There's pizza here on the ship. You know, there's a little place where you get pizza by the bar. And the pizza here is good by the slice. And it's open all the time. So it's like you're just sitting there walking by. Like, I think I'll have a slice of pizza just for no damn good reason. Pizza is really good. Um, there's also a grill. The grill has very good tacos. I just discovered that the other day. I thought it was just burgers. It's not just burgers. They've got pulled pork sandwiches. They've got burgers. Um, they have street tacos. They're really good too. You can get flour tortillas or corn, corn tortillas with them. So that's kind of an overview of the dining on board. I think the food is outstanding generally. Super satisfied with it and the service is just so good. I love the people working on this ship. So yeah, that's about it in a nutshell. Get plenty of exercise before you come on the ship because you will eat well, no question. So I'm playing some pickleball up here, which is fun. A little windy up on this deck 15. There's also shuffleboard here too and giant chess. Here's Jen putting on a ping pong serving clinic. Oh, Jesus.
10 relaxing in the wheelhouse bar, which I think is my favorite room in the whole place just because it has all these plush, comfortable seats. Very comfortable. <laughs> Let's Good take drinks. a walk through here. Come on. Good drinks. All the bars have, they all will serve any drinks, but each has their own kind signature of drinks, right? Signature drinks. This one has um, an elderflower paloma, which is very good. They have these Rob Floyd signature recipes. He's apparently a, I don't know what you call it, an expert bartender. But he's I've just been drinking the ultimate Mai Tai everywhere because I love the ultimate Mai Tai on board. It's super good. Elderflower paloma is very good. I tried that. They also have an espresso martini. Um, very tasty as well. All right, Good thank you. Drink. Thank you. You see people chilling out in here. Nautical themed place. It's really nice. Day 13, folks. Man, it is almost our time on the island. Princess is almost over, sadly. I have not washed a dish in two weeks. Haven't taken my dog for a walk in two weeks. Haven't cleaned anything up. Haven't prepared any meals for myself in two weeks. Haven't done a stitch of work in two weeks. Um, it's been extraordinarily nice. There's another tip for you. Come up to center court where the pickleball and the chess and the shuffleboard are, like right around sunset. Very few people bother to climb up here at this time of day um, to watch the sunset. And it is absolutely spectacular right now. This entire deck is pretty much just to me. Gotta love it. Another thing for you to consider is, do you want to be on a big ship, small ship, medium-sized ship? This ship's capacity, 2200. I would categorize this as a middle, a mid-sized ship. You know, it's not one of the mega ships. There's ships out there now that are 4,500, 5,000 capacity. This is 2200 capacity. It's not a small size ship either. So there's, there's stuff going on. There's stuff to do. Um, there's not a million people here. What do you like? There's certain there's pros and cons to the big ship. Some people hate them. Some people love them. So I would say too that um, think about the size of the ship that you want to. Uh, they're probably not going to bring a huge, massive vessel on a two-week cruise because most people don't have two weeks off. So it's another thing for you to think about if you have kids and you want like water slides and all those sorts of bells and whistles. Uh, you might want to be on a larger size cruise um, cruise ship. But those ships are also not going to go to some of the islands. You're probably going to want to go to, especially in the Caribbean. Right? You're not going to probably go to Grenada. You're not going to probably make it to Guadalupe. And these are beautiful islands too. So it's a lot of different things to consider. But think about the size of the ship as well too. And if you're into medium-sized ships, this is a good one for you. Now that I'm standing right above Serenity too, here's one other tip. Um, if you think you want to be at Serenity, which is the quiet area of the ship, or one of the quiet areas of the ship, the quietest, I guess that's in it, has the plush um, chairs and such like that book that way in ahead. In fact, if you can book it even before you get on board, you want to do that for the days when you're at sea. On the other days, it's not an issue, but if you want to be in there, or you think you want to be in there, book before you even board the cruise ship. I will say though, I never felt like I actually needed to be in there. I never was worried about it. I was always able to find a relatively quiet and shady area on the ship, which is what I like. You might like to be in the sun. You might like something totally different. I was always able to find a place to sit. Although if you want to be sitting on like plush seating, you want to have a quieter area, place without kids around, probably. I don't know if they bar kids or not, but you might want to book that in advance, especially for the days at sea. Let's just take a little walk through the casino because honestly, I do not remember whether I already did this before or not. So let's take a quick look. We've got some roulette. We got some slot machines. Video poker, stuff like this. Yeah, Jen saying sh this is a good area to sit during the day if you don't want to be outside with the wind. You've got a good view of the water, comfortable seats. You can sit here, kind of look out, see where we're passing through. You can order a Bahama Mama or a Pina Colada. You actually like this area, don't you, Jen? This is the indoor pool area. I do. What do they call it? It's a good um, chill out area, right? Yeah, it's a good place for a nap. You can look at these chairs. Yeah, more comfortable chairs in here. It's nighttime, so it's quiet, but this is the indoor pool and spa, and there's ping pong up there. And then down here, we're gonna head towards the uh, the team club, right? It's down this way. Yeah, the ice cream place is over here, too. I'll show you the team club a little bit here. Um, there's some movies that they have in the background. There's a big screen TV. There's uh, ping pong in the back. They've got ping pong tournaments. 
They've got video games. There's computers over here. The kids have video games. There's air hockey. As you can see, there's foosball. There's all kinds of cool stuff. It's open most of the day until 10 o'clock at night, as you can see. Super cool place. My kids have had a lot of fun here. It's on the 14th floor. So I've been drinking um, Ultimate Mai Tais the entire trip, our entire two-week two voyage, which is about to come to an end. Now all of a sudden, I try on the last evening, the Coco Loco. How is it? Damn it, I should have been drinking this the whole time. Really? What's it like, a pina colada? Mm, so coconutty. Coconut and rum. I, got I don't a know what the heck else is in there. After I saw How's the Bahama lady, Mama? Lady have it the other day. Delicious? Mm -hmm. I just, I feel very fortunate that we were able to take this two week holiday. Most people don't have an opportunity to do this. We spent two weeks getting waited on by wonderful people from 30 different countries. Met a guy from Montenegro last night who was going to take our picture, and I just saw out of the corner of my eye his badge had something very long on it. I thought, what the hell is that? I said, wait a second, hold on, <laughs> don't go away. He was from Montenegro, country number 30. Maybe Milo. I'll meet another, I don't know, Milo. Mm -hmm. Or would you say Milo? Milo, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. In any case, great trip, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. Cheers.